Ladies and oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Mike Manning, and welcome back. Here we go, bada boom! Welcome back to Penn State Baron Esports. Tonight we have an exciting game. Continuing our foray into the ECAC playoffs, we have Baron's remaining Overwatch team, Overwatch team two. Up against Buffalo State University. Now, in case you haven't caught any of these ECAC playoff games before, sorry, they matter even more than the rest of the series does for the simple fact that these are a single elimination bracket. Sorry? Simply meaning that every single game from here on is single elimination. If you get knocked out, you are knocked out. Here we are, getting ready to go. First map of the night, Helios. We have Barrent. Opening. On. Blue side. Boom. Red on blue side. Buffalo stay down red. Being king of the hill. Pretty symmetrical. So. That isn't going to come super in effect quite yet. Give it time. Majority both teams insane. Both teams have Soldier, Mercy, and that Moira Ultra going in with the Wrecking Ball trying to cause some havoc right out the gate. I think our first game of the new and improved Roadhog. Well, wow. Ultra causing havoc in Baron's backline. Seth pushes forward. Baron managed to get a pick on Ash. Wheaton is down. Those are two big deaths. Give Baron a pretty easy time to capture this point. Ultra, though, still just being as much of a nuisance as possible. Finally finished off by Seth. Falcon secures a double. Thank you. Baron, take control of the point. We're starting to progress towards final objective. Force it back off. The patience of both players. Wheaton holding that parry. Didn't want to be too easy to guess. Or uh predictable, that's worth. <laughs> Ultra moves in. Bigwood popping the Guardian Angel. Keeps the team alive. Buffalo State make the push. Down goes Wheaton. Ash tries to move in for the revive, but can't quite get it off. Once again, Buffalo State is wiped. Baron get to stress free, taking more and more of this objective. Not seeing any shakeups in the comp by Buffalo side. They're still confident in this. Ultra moving in with that wrecking ball. Here comes Wheaton with the Dragon Blade. Bombs, all that burst is enough. Both support are down on Baron's side. Berlin Falcon follows. Quickly after. Maybe he does pop that attack just to secure the to secure the capture. The objective finally switches sides. Buffalo State gets control. Baron sitting on 70% on the first map on Elias. Artillery barrage. Me from Pearl. Not getting much off it. Baron isn't entirely in a position to follow right after. Ultra does switch over to the D.Va. The attack visor parked by Falcon. Guns down Ultra. That catches Bambi. Wheaton follows quickly. Ash does manage to get the res off on Bambi. And Creative's Biotic Orb does manage to finish off Falcon. Sensor's double. But 
creative's going to try and stall for as long as possible with that coalescence. I almost called it a Kamehameha. That's just my me and my friends call out for it. Let's move again to Wheaton, switching over to the Tracer. Buffalo State managed to maintain control of the point. Creative stalling for as long as he needed to. And up falling. That's the Zorisk. Ooh, just barely. Buffalo steps off. Paired to manage to take control, 75%. State's only going to have time to regroup for maybe one or two more fights. We've got to make this time count. Weedon going for a flank, getting a beautiful spray down on Oris. And just secure the kill. The sticky bomb on Falcon on the way out. Just gutting Baron's momentum. Bambi finishes Pearl off. This is purple off. That moves in, popping the whole hog, forcing the defenders off the objective. Almost managed to win through that overtime. Can't quite. Stalling for as long as possible. Wheaton finishes them off. Spiking that close. Overtime keeps Buffalo State in the game. Next team fight really could just decide this game. If Baron win, they take this first map. If Buffalo do, Baron is not going to have much time to regroup. Been moving in. Hit and run tactics doing so well for Buffalo State. Just moving in, sitting on that diva bomb. Great get off. Cool. Denon. Two, three members of Buffalo State fall, but there's the diva bomb. Orisk and Pur and Purple are down. Bigswood manages to get the revive off. Watch the mech falls. As does Ash manage to make it to stall. Guns Falcon out of the air. Ooh, he secures a kill. Wheaton secures a kill on Purple as well. So that takes out Bambi. Manages to land those shots. Objective switches sides over the Baron. They just need to make it through the overtime. And Seth stopping Ash's switch over to the Lucio from making much of an impact. Baron managed to take first map on Elios. Okay, we got to our second map. Ilios is the most infamous <laughs> attraction. Aaron running a very, a very similar comp. Getting out for Junkrat though. Roadhog on both sides. Both teams want to go for these big hooks. Purple caught in an awkward spot. It's finished off by Wheaton. And Ultra managed to hook Seth into the pit. Maybe Wheaton leading the charge. Wow, Big Sword manages to take Wheaton out. <laughs> Hear the hog on the way. Fight that. But that bubble state still managed to take control of the objective. They're going to start gaining progress. Choosing the right time to back off. Seth the manages to secure kill and ultra. Well, that we gotta follow him. Purple pulling Ash out. That assumed cover. Baron to manage to take control of the objective. Only barely over 30% gained for Buffalo State. State stacking up, moving in on this right side. He 
beautiful choke point. Oh, but purple does get hooked. Takes the time on the way back. Three into Buffalo State's backline, but Wheaton gets a massive sticky nade. Big Swood tries to force a res. Pop by Ultra. Death Force Retreat. Big Ben does finish off Ash. Buffalo State. Need to the objective just as Baron overtake them in progress. Wheaton has been in... You don't see much of Tracer nowadays, I feel like. And Wheaton has been an absolute menace. <laughs> and that's why you don't see much of Tracer anymore. Because, yeah. Oh, you could be you could be an absolute monster. Oh, the... No way! Okay. The... The, <laughs> the Roadhog trade over the pit. I feel you don't see much. Ooh, nice sticky Falcons down. Tracer demands a lot from you. A lot of positioning, a lot of good movement. It's easy to get punished, but if you can get it down, you could be the absolute worst thorn in the enemy team's side as we've seen from Wheaton. I didn't have time to talk about that fiesta between Ultra and Seth. Beautiful. We managed to kill that kill on Falcon. Falcon from the grave with that rip tire. Ooh. Greater names orb takes out Swood and Whedon. The extra damage finally finished off. Baron force. Close state off the objective. Nice hook from Seth. They're stalling. That Siggy Bomb. Managed to take control. They've got plenty of progress to make. They're going to have to hold this objective down. Beautiful hook by Seth. Orisk Ultra to the pit. But Wheaton with another insane pulse bomb catches Falcon and Orisk. Bigswood gets the revive off on, or revive off on Orisk. Wheaton makes him pay for it. Barely getting away with all this. That snaps around with that whole hog, just forcing Buffalo State off the objective. Wheaton takes out Purple. Ooh, Ultra returns the favor with that hook. Managed to get the revival Falcon, but it looks like it might just be too little too late. Beaten finishes him off. Trying to stall for as long as possible. Taking out Estes Orisk. Purple's made it to the objective, but Buffalo State aren't going to let Seth get there. Second map on Elios is going to go to Buffalo. 1 1 range. All right, third and final map of Elios. Besides who gets his initial point and who gets to set the tone. We can switch over to Torb. You really use some of this high ground. Purple with a beautiful sticky bomb managed to take a creative. Ash gets the revive off. Seth makes him pay for it with his life. Purple takes out Ultra. The objective is unlocked. Baron forming a beautiful, not full wipe, but a great job clearing. Oh, nice hook. Seth has to reload, though. 
still chasing the survivors. Great if just walks on to point. And staggering that death for support as well is going to be really big. Ultra barely manages to get away with her mech intact. Beautiful hook! Both Seth and Ultra have had some insane hooks. Doing a beautiful job, not only getting the hook off, but manipulating where it's going to place the victim. It falls. That takes a hell of a lot of damage and managed to hold on. Fucking Dink Soldier during the kill. Killer Strike comes out from purple, not catching any kills directly. But doing exactly what it needs, slowing the advance down. Every single second, the parent. What? Like, that's what I'm talking about! What are these hooks? It's so insane. Not only the knowledge, but the execution from Seth has just ludicrous. 35% of the objective. Buffalo stays running out of time to take this. Just secure kill on purple. Baron isn't slowing down. Barely even falling back as Big Swood gets the revive off. Ultra trying to move onto the objective. Pops the Diva Bomb. Only catches Falcon's turret. Bambi falls to his death. Secures a kill on pur uh, purple. Buffalo State can't touch the point. A beautiful showing in that final round. Baron managed to take the first game. Over Buffalo State. 1 0. Yeah, no. Wheaton Tracers. I. Uh, I'm. Nothing makes me happier doing the commentary for these than seeing people absolutely perform with all different kinds of characters. Wheaton on Trace, someone you. I feel like you really don't see very often. Just being the most annoying possible distraction for Baron. Diva bombs, or the, uh, the sticky bombs especially were on point. Meanwhile, Seth's Roadhog is specifically the way he manipulates where that hook's going to place people is insane. That snap on the Hanzo. Our next map of the night, our hybrid map is going to be King's Row.
Right. It's ready. ASEC will be hopping into our second game. A give quick shout out to everybody who's tuning in, both supporting Baron or supporting Buffalo State. Really appreciate you guys supporting the stream, supporting the entirety of our little collegiate esports ecosystem. Doing doing the little even the little bit that you do means a whole lot more than you know. Alright. I gotta switch the I gotta switch the team cards because the side switched. We have Baron starting on red side, starting on attack. Buffalo State starting on blue. Again, it's being a hybrid map. Baron, the attackers, will be forced to take control of this control point. And if they manage to do so, it will unlock a payload that they will have to push through the rest of the map. Buffalo State's objective is simply to stop that. <laughs> Let's play um, uh, folks who don't typically tune in might be tuning in. Figure, couldn't hurt to give a little bit of a bit of a crash course. <laughs> the doors are open. The teams rocking a Ramatra and a Bastion. Interestingly, you typically see teams try and rock a Widowmaker uh, on attack just to get some extra use out of the clock tower. But we didn't actually... Because then you could just switch off if it doesn't look like for gap. The hard commit to the Widowmaker by Whedon. Interesting, laying some good shots. Peppering Baron's front line. Death managed to finish off Ultra though. Take the big death. Ash falls as well. Secures to kill Bambi. We managed to land that headshot on Seth. Finished off by Falcon. Looks like Baron is going to pull up a very nice, quick little capture here. The initial point. Five and a half minutes left. Make it to the end of the. Make it to the end of the map. Urban Falcon take a point. <laughs> Ultra the problem is. I. The dog tries to hold the line. Ash pops the, the Guardian Angels, keep him up. Not enough. The artillery strike from Purple catches creative. Baron just pretty much un unslowed, unafflicted. Gonna keep just chugging on. By Seth. Sorry, I can't I can't help but hear like the M the Metal Gear Solid 1 is ultra and purple in a moment of peace see each other through the window. Do you think love can bloom on a battlefield? Dean <laughs> is a nice little flank here. Ooh, but he's caught by Seth. Okay, moving up, trying to hold the line. Purple guns down creative. Ultra is not far behind. Bambi is harassed, taken out. Ash just ran down and Baron just pushing forward further and further. Still just under five and a half minutes left. They've already hit the second checkpoint on King's Row. Really, fourth of the map left to go. Ooh, Seth almost falling down there. You can pop the dragon blade, managed to take out Seth. And then after Seth brings Bob into the field. Bob helping to keep the line forward. Takes out Bambi. Wheaton. I do some work. Ash revives Bambi. 
He's gone! Oh no! Falcon steal the elf back and there's the Ramatra alt. Burning down the survivors. Ultra rushes up, tries to do the same to Baron's backline. Falcon isn't going to let that happen. Purple takes Ultra out. And with over four minutes left, Baron managed to make it to the final checkpoint. Switching sides, it's Baron's turn to defend. Okay. Ready for battle. You. Let's see. Buffalo Steak can rival Baron's pushing power here. Baron running pretty much the exact same comp. Or, no, wait, I'm sorry. Buffalo State is running the exact same comp, even rocking that wooden maker in the clock tower. As a bit more traditional, a bit more expected. What matters is that we Purple's got some fans. Last second. Meanwhile, Baron mixing it up on the DPS. Seems to be their most flexible role. Purple switching over to the Symmetra. Three, Seth two, on the May. One. Characters who do a fantastic job at cutting off pushes. Punishing his positioning. Queen's getting picked out here. Forced to fall back. Purple bobbing that teleporter. Thought about chasing him for a sec. Tyrant form. Baron spy a moment of weakness. Try and take Ultra out. But he's not buckling. Terraform runs out at the worst possible time, though. Can't secure a kill on any of Baron's backline. Seth managed to finish off creative. So Ultra takes out Falcon. That's a big death for Baron. No tank. Purple, though, burns through Ultra. Managed to finish him off. Weeden takes Purple out. Brain response. Weeden takes out Bigswood. Canceling that revive. Or spurts him and Ash down. Seth. Freezes Bambi, and Baron managed to stop the push. He's pushing up. Death pops the blizzard and catches Ultra as purple burns through creative. But falls. Trading his life for everybody but Ash on Buffalo side. This is a pretty worthwhile give. Purple manages to catch Ash out as well. Staggering Buffalo spawns a bit. Buffalo State. Two minutes left to push. Ooh, there's the Ramatra alt pushing through. Metro alt. Okay, takes out creative and pops his own Ramatra alt. Being kept alive by Swood. Burning out Wheaton. Still holding on just barely, but he's still standing. Alt's keeping up. Finally managed to take out Bambi. Ultra batters down Orisk. Ash goes for the revive. But can't quite get it off. Whedon gets a dead eye. Lean low kill on Swood. Ice Wall stops Whedon from assisting too much. Purple finishes him off. Falcon finally is burnt down, but Purple with a triple wipes out the attackers. One minute left.
Oh, popping that TP. Baron to rotate out of it faster. Baron to be forced to retake this point. Survive Oris. Caught hopping out with the coalescence, keeping him up, keeping him mobile. Some nice little chip. Buffalo while keeping Baron in the game. Falcon Mitch take out Ultra. Wheaton switching back over to the Tracer. Freeze down Swood. The Blizzard freezes Bambi, stops Ash from escaping. That follows it up by taking out Creative. Purple catches Wheaton. No one left to stall. 10 seconds left. Just going to try and touch between the Symmetra and the May. He might not be able to. Barely manages to touch the point and open up overtime for Buffalo State. Bambi and Wheaton both securing a pick. Just copy the objective. Wheaton takes out Orisk as well. Seth finishes off creative. Wood revives Falcon. Wood stalls just long enough for Falcon to make it to the objective. Clearing out the defenders alongside Seth. Pops that Ramatra ult just for the safety. Ooh. Ultra does the same managing. Take out Falcon. There's no one left to stall. No one left to follow up. Baron managed to take the second game of the night. Standing over, over Buffalo State 2-0. One game away from knocking them out of the ECAC playoffs. Baron just got the ball rolling after that. Honestly, very close first game. Team Cohesion is just there. Moving over to our pure payload game of the night. Vic will be going to Rialto. I'm going to give a quick, quick thank you, everybody. Everyone who's been following, everyone who's been supporting. Just broke our little goal of 220. Well on our way to getting uh, affiliate and, you know, getting chances to up up production on the stream and actually supporting the players who are playing for us. So, again, thank you to everybody who's helped out whatever little ways you can. It's like a couple of members of Baron sit down in the bathroom. So, folks, now might be the time. If you need it, grab a drink, grab a snack at the bathroom. Do whatever you gotta. Wait a few minutes before hopping into our next match between Penn State Baron and Buffalo State.
Okay. We get into our third, potentially final map of the night on Rialto. Baron, once again, opening on attack. They have the chance to set the tone for how the rest of this game is going to go. They have half of the pressure and the pushing power that they did last game. Buffalo is their work cut out for. But as we saw, as we saw back on Elios, Buffalo has more than that. Buffalo has more than the capability to really fight back. They have team cohesion. They have individual play. They can really pump it up when they need to. And right now, they need to. Nice block by Falcon. Doesn't want to risk getting caught. Wheaton, actually, on tank this time. There's the last few games on DPS. Nice hook on Pearl. That's a big death. Or on Purple. That's a big death. Also moving up. Falcon keeping those arms up. Would manage to get the revive off on purple. Seth dinks out Bambi. Reviving members. Buffalo State are forced to retreat. The interesting thing, Baron is a very momentum based team. Once they get that ball rolling, you need to stop them. Going for the flank. Couldn't quite secure a kill. Let's get a nice pick on purple. Got that artillery strike up. He still gets a revive on purple. Wheaton's whole hog takes out Orisk. Ash pops the guardian angel. Help pivot this fight more towards... Of the state's favor. Purple takes out Bambi. Ash immediately getting that revive off. Buffalo State doing a good job forcing Baron back. Forcing them so far back here. Victor starting to... Oh no! Weeden over steps. Walking into the... The pressure cooker that Purple turned that room into. immediately switching over to that wrecking ball going out very quickly and causing some havoc death and falcon though take out two members of buffalo state's back line okay fishes off ash we still contesting falcon trying to hold the line giving his team time to finish off the hamster said the manages to collating wheaton and creative Aaron managed to make it to the first checkpoint. Three minutes, 40 seconds left. Death and Purple just running away with any bit of momentum Buffalo State gives to them. Falcon and Seth just bursting through the defenders, getting a team kill. Baron managed to force them back. And that second, that second checkpoint, Baron now four minutes to make it to the rest of the map. Purple popping that symmetry ult. Being Baron to more forward operating space to work with. Being popped the whole hog. 
Pushing Baron back, but not doing much else. Orisk managed to take out Ultra. Queen gets Orisk right back. Back barely keeping Falcon in the fight, but he's here to stay. Purple takes out Wheaton. The tack visor pop from Bambi and the artillery strike, but Falcon is just wading through Buffalo. Even as Purple and Orisk fall, he refuses to let up. Watch your alt falls. First retreat. Baron get, the rest of Baron make it to him. They managed to pivot it. Seth taking out creative in the chaos. Just switching over to the Reaper. Taking Bambi out, Ash is down. Ultra does manage to burst purple. He just causing some havoc. Doesn't quite have that minefield. Almost does though. There it is. That takes out creative and ultra. We some serious damage, but not managing to secure a kill. Falcon takes Wheaton out. Last few members of Buffalo State holding the line, but it's not enough. That the Falcon batter them down at Baron. Lead their push. Just under two minutes left. Managed to push the payload through the entire map. All right. Buffalo State's turn to push. <laughs> Five, four, Aaron to defend Baron. I can a very similar lineup. So mixing up the DPS yet again. Ash rocking the. We're gonna first support we've seen that isn't Moira or Mercy, I think. Baron got a position carefully, don't wanna get caught by that hook from Wheaton. There it is. Ooh, but purple gets caught on the wall. Rest of Baron dive down to cover him. He takes Ultra out. Creative falling off the map out of that dash. The rest of the team falls death, knocking Ash out of the air. Stay reconstituting for a push here. Gonna mix up the comp, switching over to first Sigma pick of the night. Ultra of the mind catches Orisk. Falcon makes him pay for it. But revives Orisk. Artillery strike falls, catching Bambi. Orisk coalescence takes out creative. Wind is trying to fall back. His team is falling apart around him.
They're doing so much work forcing forcing Buffalo State to play out of spawn. Just under two minutes left. Managed to go purple. Kind of wait, Ultra diving onto the payload. I managed to take that high ground. Almost has Rip Tire. There it is with Baron stacked up. This could be meaty. Ooh, purple catches him before he could pop it. You managed to take out Oris. Purple cut in that trap. Falcon taking point with their Macho. Oh, almost gets caught by that Moira orb. Waits it out. Pops the tired form to stay in the fight. 40 seconds left. Make or break here for Buffalo State. They can make it to that checkpoint. They'll get some time back. Baron are going to make them pay for every single inch. The Diva Bomb. Here comes the Rip Tire. Horus falls. Ultra takes out Seth, but Falcon managed to take out Wheaton before he gets back in his mech. Let's get Falcon her down. All on purple and Big Swood. Being forced back. Use the artillery barrage. Does manage to take out Bambi. But it's too little, too late. Buffalo State make it to the checkpoint. Now they've got over two minutes to keep working. That knocks Ash out of the air. There is no... What is... I was going to say, there's no way Wheaton is surviving. You've got to be careful. They're pushed a little bit forward. Very close spawns for Buffalo State. Maybe may stick at Orisk. Look at trying to stall, get the tyrant form, falls back. Purple takes out Ultra. Seth finishes off. Creative. Over a minute. Falcon is just hugging that payload. Falls back, manages to get out. Pushing up, we managed to take a Oris. There's the Blizzard. Falcon forces his way out of it, popping the Ramalter alt. Takes out Ash and Wheaton. Is finished off. That batters down Bambi. Big Swood gets the revive on Falcon. They're gonna have 20 seconds left. Just got to hold the line. Ultra doing everything he can to hold out. But without anybody capable of making it to that objective, Baron managed to hold the line. Buffalo State knocked out of the ECAC playoffs. Baron taking the game over them. 3 0. A very competitive set of games. Especially at the start. Baron just being a fair, like, player momentum 
based team. Once they get in the zone, it's it's hard to knock them out of it. You can see that uh, Buffalo State was playing fantastically in that first game. Just didn't work out. Folks, I want to thank everybody for tuning in so much. I'm going to go make sure, because we were about to talk about it yesterday, I'm going to go make sure we don't have a doubleheader. Uh, Baron might be playing again. I'm going to go get the exact for you on that. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks. Apologies for the delay. Turns out we might be seeing a doubleheader tonight. If you're willing to wait, we're going to close the stream here. In about 20 minutes, we might be seeing another game starring Penn State Baron Overwatch. Back to you as soon as possible. We'll be right back here if we are with another game. Penn State Baron Overwatch moving on to the next part of the ECC Finals. Can I hope it's not too late? Can I hope that we do see a second game tonight? And if not, hey, we don't. Thank you, folks. Anyone who can't join for later, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for showing your support actively and passively. Love everybody in chat. Love everybody who's tuned in from either team. Please, if you can't join us in a few, be safe. Be good to each other and have a good night. If you can, look forward to seeing you just about 20. Do what you gotta. Clean up a bit. Hit the bathroom. You know, take care of yourself. I'll be right back as soon as we can with another game of Penn State Baron Overwatch.